Hello students, today we are going to discuss different types of DNA. Actually, when uh, Watson and Crick has proposed that du duplex model of DNA, it has exhibited some uh, specific uh, measurements or diameters. And in reality, so this uh, is a long DNA and uh, it has to be accommodated in a small nucleus of the small cell and to get accommodated it is folded uh, thousand times and during its uh, folding so this will show different forms. That's why when we take a small segment, it will, it will exactly look like the DNA proposed by Watson and Crick. But when you take the long DNA in folded form, it will show different forms and more than one dozen different forms were identified so far. But among the, them, we will discuss four types of DNAs. And these uh, 12 types of DNA are all given in uh, alphabet. They are named as ADNA, BDNA, CDNA and ZDNA and so on. And now we are discussing uh, the four types here. ADNA, BDNA, CDNA and ZDNA. And let us see what will be the differences or variations you will find among them. We know that uh, this is uh, Watson and Crick DNA, which is uh, the common DNA. And we know that this BDNA will have 10 base pairs per turn. That means in one coil you will find 10 base pairs. And it is right handed helix. And uh, the distance between two base pairs will be 3.4 angstrom units. And the diameter or the width of DNA is 20 angstroms. This we have already studied in the last class. But let us see, the ADNA will have, instead of 10 base pairs, it will have 11 base pairs. And it is also right handed helix, with the space between the, the two base pairs is 2.56 angstroms. And uh, the diameter is 23 angstroms, means what somewhat more than this BDNA. And this is CDNA and the CDNA is having 9.33 base speeds per turn or per coil and this is also right handed helix with 3.3 .3 angstroms distance between two base speeds and the width is 19 angstroms. And when we come to this ZDNA, it is showing 12 base speeds per turn and it is left handed helix and it will show zigzag arrangement that is why it is called as ZDNA and uh, the distance between the two base speeds here is 3.8 angstroms and uh, the diameter or the width of DNA is 18.4 angstroms. These are uh, the different types of uh, DNAs. Students, let us solve some problems based on DNA. Now, numericals on DNA. So, let us see some problems will be based on length okay i am reading out this problem a fragment of dna 
is showing 10 coils. What is its length? Very simple problem. And we know that a coil or a turn measures or the length of one coil is 34 angstrom units, right? So what will be the length? 10 into 34, that is 340 angstrom units. Okay, and let us see the second one. Here uh, length is given. The length of a DNA is 170 angstrom units. And they are asking us to calculate the number of coils. Very simple. 170 by 34. So we had to find out in 170 how many 34s are there. Means how many coils are there or uh, how many this 170 angstrom length will make how many coils. So you know that we get 5 tons or 5 coils. That is the answer. Simple. And now let us see the percentage based questions. Here uh, I am reading out the question. A DNA extracted from a bacterium. A DNA extracted from a bacterium is showing 28% of adenine. 28% of adenine. What is the percentage of uh, the remaining or the rest? And we should not forget uh, the Chargaff's rule. And if there is 28% adenine, then the equal amount of thymine will be there. So that is 28%. 28 and 28 together 56 percent. So now how much is left? 44 percent. And you have to distribute this 44 percent among the remaining two nitrogen bases that is guanine So 56 percent here, so the remaining is what 44 percent and let us distribute this 44 percent among the two nitrogen bases guanine and cytosine. Guanine will be 22 percent and cytosine is 22 percent. So what is the percentage of uh, thymine here? 28 percent, guanine 22 percent, cytosine 22 percent. That is the answer for this question. And now let us see the third type. It is uh, based on number of nitrogen bases. You see here, I am reading out uh, this question. A DNA having 1000 nitrogen bases, 1000 nitrogen bases and they say that adenines are 300, adenines are 300. Find out the remaining nitrogen bases and once again we have to recollect our memory of uh, Chargaff's rule. Adenines and thymines occur in equal number. So, if adenines are 300, three hundred, then automatically 300 thymines will be there. So the total number of nitrogen bases are 1000 and we got here 600 and how many are left? 400. 
very easy so now let us distribute these 400 among guanine and cytosine guanines will be 200 and cytosines will be 200 this is based on number now let us see the fourth type of question and they may sometimes ask about uh, to calculate the number of hydrogen bonds and we know already this AT and GC are uh, base pairs, complementary base pairs and between A and T double hydrogen bond and between G and C triple hydrogen bonds exist. So here uh, the game, a double standard DNA with 2000 nucleotides, guanines are 400. And they are asking us to calculate the total number of hydrogen bonds. So, let us see 400 guanines. So, how many cytosines will be there? 400. 400 plus 400, total 800. So, in 2000 nucleotides, 800 are over, and how much is left? 1200. So, 600 will be adenines with double bond, and the thymine is also 600. Okay. Now, how to calculate uh, the number of hydrogen bonds? Between GC, triple hydrogen bond is there. So, 400 into 3, 1200 hydrogen bonds. Between adenine and thymine, double hydrogen bond is there. So, 600 into 2, 1200 hydrogen bonds. So, the total number of hydrogen bonds here are 2400 hydrogen bonds. Okay. I hope you are finding it very easy. And now, uh, one more easy problem which is based on sequence. I will read out the question. If the sequence of bases on one strand, and do that, uh, the sequence of bases on one strand should be read from which uh, direction to which direction? Five prime direction to three prime direction. So that's why I am reading out. C C G G T T A A T T C. Okay. Then they are asking us what will be the sequence you will find in the complementary strand and we know that these two strands are not parallel they are anti parallel so first we have to write 5 prime here and 3 prime here and you know that it is very simple and uh, you see here c is there so here comes g a a t t a a C, C, G, G. So, this is the sequence. And uh, among the options, so you have to select the option which is uh, showing uh, this direction 5 prime, 3 prime direction. That is about uh, the simple problems based on DNA structure.